If this is true, Travis. Troy Dannon, what's going yeah. on? Would I mislead you? Would you not be the first person I talk to when I get to town? That the plane just landed. I'm still on it, but I'm calling you to say hi. How you doing, my friend? Oh, Troy Dannon, it is. Uh, it's great to hear from you. First of all, congratulations on being named the uh, the athletic director of the University of Nebraska. I appreciate it. It's uh, it's been a day now uh, uh, today, but uh, man, this is uh, this is something else. It's uh, you know, honor opportunity. I mean, this is, you know, growing up in the Midwest, it's home, but at the same time, I mean, this is, this is one of the bluest blue bloods in college athletics. And to think you get to be a part of it, it's pretty special. You know, you texted me the day Trev left and we had a brief conversation. I hope you don't mind me sharing that. I didn't say what we were talking about, but you, you didn't, I, I, I didn't follow up with the question of, are you interested in the job? Did you know you were interested in the job when we were talking? Well, I mean, yes, yes, and no. Uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty happy at Washington, but uh, you know, it just you know when you know home calls and and uh, you know whether you're from Iowa, whether you're from Nebraska, you know, you're a Midwest boy. My wife's from the Midwest, and and you know, you, you know, I was also you know now that I'm in the Big Ten, I also kind of want to know what's happening to the other Big Ten schools. So uh, you know, I I didn't really get involved. I got a call a couple of days ago, and and uh, you know, one thing led to another, and and here I am walking into uh, basically the job of a lifetime. Were Were you hesitant to leave a job in Washington after six months? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, but but you know, this this wasn't about Washington. This was this was about coming home. And and you know, timing timing's never probably exactly what you want it to be. But also, having this opportunity may never happen again. So you got to take advantage of timing when it, when it presents itself. So, uh, as, as, as rough as that was, uh, knowing what I was coming, coming to, uh, uh, you know, made the price uh, well worth it. Troy, uh, what do you think is the biggest, what do you, do you see yourself it have to be a unifier right now? What, what, what do you think is going to this job? And of course, a, a new president coming on board. What do you think is going to be the, the hardest adjustment part of this? Well, first of all, you know, part of the biggest part of the job is to be a champion, uh, being champion for the student athletes, being champion uh, for the university, for the department, for the fans, the donors, the alums, you know, the, the state of Nebraska, because, you know, I think more than maybe any other job in the country, uh, this athletic department, uh, uh, reflects in, uh, on the on the people of the state as as much if not more than anybody. So, you know, one you you've got to be a champion in, in in everything that we do, and you know, along with that, if you're a champion with in uh, for all the people in, in in what we do, it leads to a lot of other great things happening. You know, uh, and this we got a lot of a lot of tumult and change going on in college athletics, and I think the other big job, you know, you talk about the micro pieces that that maybe come specifically here, but but uh, the other big job is make sure we're well positioned, you know, to lead uh, in the next five years too. You know, we're at the big boy table and we're a big boy at the big boy table and, and people are going to follow us. And so let's make sure we're leading and, and uh, we're not trying to chase anybody into this new era, new wave of whatever college athletics is going to look, look like. During the interview process, did was Matt Rule part of the people that ask you questions? And uh, what are your impressions of Coach Rule? Oh yeah, I I've known Matt for quite a while, and and I talked to him along the way. And you know, hey, part of the attraction of this job is is getting to partner with a guy like Matt. Uh, you know, uh, uh, in in a year or two, people are gonna are, are gonna rightfully say he's he's one of the best two or three coaches in the, in the country. Uh, once everybody's around him and, and sees how he builds this program, he's, he's elite in every way. He's an elite human being. He's a motivator. And I'll tell you what, he's going to get everybody juiced. Uh, and you know, what happens in football bleeds off on everything else. And so there will be a lot of energy and a lot of juice around that. Troy, I know yeah, you I'm just gonna tell you something. Yeah, I, yeah, go ahead. Yep. I gotta, I gotta pop off here in a minute, but I just wanted to make sure that, that I talked to you and, and said, hi, and, I saw you a little bit on Twitter. I, I actually imposed a social media ban on myself today because I knew what it was going to look like. But, Smart uh, man, right I, there. I, I did see you're going to be on. So, so, so when I when I landed, I had a chance to talk to you, my friend. But I will see you later. Hey. Talk to you soon, and and uh, I really appreciate your support. One thing, I, can I put you on? Can I put you on the spot? 
Dr. Rob Zadiska, who's on here with me, he's a former Husker. Uh, we, we do this podcast in the basement. We, we, will you come to the, ba- I want to ask you right now, will you come to the basement and do a podcast for this? Well, I'm not committing to go to anybody's basement when I've been on the ground for five minutes in <laughs> Nebraska, but my, my guess is I will find my way to your basement at some point. Now. All right, Troy, we appreciate it. I will it. not commit to it. No, yes. Okay. Then I'm going to be blowing up your phone. All right. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, all right. What's uh, we'll, we'll stay in touch and uh, welcome to Nebraska, sir. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Talk to you later. Troy Dan and joining us on the, the Doc Talk podcast uh, presented by Bet Fred Sports. How about that, Rob? God, you are you are for real. You're you are big time. You know what that just did? It just pissed off every Nebraska fan because you're like <laughs> that guy, freaking Iowa, freaking <laughs> Iowa people. I tell you what, which I do go, I do want to ask him at some point. Did he go to Marshalltown High School? Uh, you know, I don't know the answer to that. I, I I think he did, but I don't know the answer to that. He grew up outside of Marshalltown I on a farm. He, yeah, so, I got to ask him at the, at at some point. Yeah, pure curiosity on my part. That was my dad. That's where my dad grew up. 